What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. I'm going to bring you a shorter clip to show you exactly what a muscle knot looks like from the outside and how to go about releasing it. I also want to emphasize how much the body can be affected and how far it can be affected from just one specific point. So I will shrink down here and we'll go right into the massage. I've simply just been warming him up this whole time. So let's look a little bit closer at how we're gonna approach releasing a muscle knot. So we found a muscle knot in his right shoulder, right at the top of his shoulder blade there, or the superior angle of the scapula is the scientific term. You'll see me warming up with just my forearm, my hands, we're still going pretty light or superficial, meaning closer to the surface. And we just need to warm up these top layers of muscle before we work in and specifically hold that trigger point. I generally like to use a lot of forearms or like knuckles or elbows during my massages because it helps to save our hands as a therapist. I'm starting to focus a little bit more specific on that area and you'll notice me a few times stop and hold a certain spot. That's the muscle knot. We're stopping and we're holding on to it a little bit just until it lets us through. Keep in mind, of course, when we're going deep on a client, we never want to push them too deep or too much past their limits. We're getting very specific now and we're going to jump angles here. And we can see a lot closer that I'm right at the corner of the inside of the shoulder blade, once again called the superior angle. See me working my way up. And here is where we're gonna come across the said muscle knot. Now it's important to note, I'm not actually on the muscle knot itself, but there are actually a few muscle knots that together they form a really tight band of muscle. And that is what you'll see me pop over and that is what you'll see make the other muscles twitch. Right there, did you see that? We'll take another look. You'll see the muscles twitching back and that's because we're popping over that tight band of muscle that has those muscle knots in it. And that shows all the surrounding muscles that are affected by that one point. A little bit more very deep tissue coming in with the elbow. And you'll see me hold here. That's a very good trigger point hold in attempt to release that very tight muscle knot really deep tissue here with the two knuckles and watch the muscles as they twitch back always after we do deep work you definitely want to relax and make nice this was all a part of a much longer massage video that I will have up shortly here but thank you guys for watching. I hope it helped you out just to kind of give you an idea of what a muscle knot looks like and how it affects the body. Check out the channel for more content. 
give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. Thank you guys all for watching again, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.